The man entered the woman's house with a grim determination. His face turned as he handed her the arrest warrant, stating her rights with a tone devoid of emotion. She took the paper without a word, but her lips curled into a slow, knowing smile, her piercing gaze never leaving his. The air grew heavy with tension as she stepped back, her movements unhurried, deliberate. Her hands slid to her blouse, unbuttoning it one by one, revealing smooth skin and the intricate black lace of her lingerie. Her confidence was palpable, her actions a silent challenge to his resolve. As she let the blouse slip from her shoulders and fall to the floor, she turned her back to him, casually bending down to pick up the discarded garment. The curve of her hips shifted alluringly in the dim light, the lace accentuating every inch of her figure. He swallowed hard, trying to avert his gaze, but his eyes betrayed him, drawn to her every motion. She straightened slowly, casting a slight glance over her shoulder before leaning against the table, her movements exuding an effortless allure. Is this really necessary? She asked, her voice low and sultry, as she toyed with the strap of her bra. She went again, this time under the pretense of adjusting her heels, her body an irresistible distraction. The man's grip tightened on the warrant, his professionalism wavering as her soft laughter filled the room. She began tidying up imaginary clutter, bending repeatedly, each motion more suggestive than the last, until he could barely focus on his duty. She stepped closer, the scent of her perfume enveloping him, her fingertips lightly brushing the edge of his jacket. Do we really have to play by the rules? She murmured, her voice dripping with seduction. His breathing quickened as she pressed her hand to his chest, her lips hovering near his ear, her words a gentle command, why not help me, just this once? The man's resolve shattered under the weight of her charm, his sense of duty eclipsed by desire. With a deep exhale, he folded the warrant, slipping it into his pocket, and met her gaze. There